This lesson overviews how to connect cameras to servers. After completing this lesson, you will be able to connect a camera to a server. This feature is available in these editions of ACC software. Once a camera has been discovered on the network, it can be connected to the server. In the Site Setup page, first select the site to which you want to connect a camera. In this demonstration, we are using this site. Click the highlighted button to continue. The tab loads. This area displays all discovered cameras. If the camera you acquire is not discovered, you can try searching for it by clicking here. The dialog box loads. Select the server from which you want to search. Select the type of search. You can search for a specific IP address or within a range of IP addresses. Select the type of camera to search for. Input the IP address or host name in the control port here. The default for the camera type is a Vigilant. To select another option, click the drop-down menu. You have the option of choosing several camera types. In this simulation, we will select this option. Note that to find an on-vif camera, you must select the on-vif option rather than the Vigilant camera type. Once you've selected your type, enter the IP address or host name, control port, username, and password. In this demonstration, we will connect this camera. Once you're ready to connect your camera, click the highlighted button. In the dialog box that appears, use the drop-down list to select the server to which you want to connect the camera. Using this drop-down list, you can set the connection type for your site. If you select primary, devices automatically connect to this server if they are in the same network. If you select secondary, devices connect to this server only when the primary server is not available. And if you select tertiary, devices connect to this server only when both the primary and secondary servers are unavailable. In this drop-down list, you can select the appropriate license priority. License priority is the order that cameras are connected to the server. The server will try to connect cameras with a higher license priority before cameras with lower priority. 1 is the highest priority and 5 is the lowest. If the server does not have enough camera channel licenses, low priority cameras may not be connected. A camera channel license is only used when the camera actually connects to the server. Note that if you set the connection type to primary, this drop-down list is not available. If the camera supports a secure connection, this drop-down list displays. This drop-down displays only if the device supports both secure and unsecure connections. Select the Secure option to protect and secure the camera's configuration and login details. Otherwise, disable it if you want the camera's configuration and login details not to be secured. However, this may make the camera's configuration and login details accessible to users with unauthorized access. For this demonstration, our selected camera does not display this option. Furthermore, we will configure the connection type to be primary. You can determine the location of the camera here. If the site you want is not listed, you may need to connect the camera to a different server. Make sure the selected server is connected to the site you want. Here, you can drag to reorder where the camera appears in the directory. Click here to apply the configuration. If the camera is password protected, the following dialog box may appear. Enter the camera's username and password. The connected camera appears in this list, and its connection status appears here. You can determine if the connection is secure by using the icon in this column. A device that has a secure connection displays this icon next to it. The icon displays regardless of how the connection was made. For example, a camera type that only supports a secure connection does not display the option to choose an unsecured connection in this dialog box. However, when it's connected, it still displays the icon here. You can change the login credentials on any OnVIF-based Avigilon and OnVIF-based third-party camera as long as it's connected to the software and in a non-error state. Furthermore, the camera must be connected to ACC using an administrator account to be able to change the login credentials. To change the login credential of a camera, first select the camera from this list and then click here. A dialog box loads. Enter the new password and confirm it, and then click here.
If a connected camera dies, you can configure a new camera to automatically take its place. You can select a replacement for that camera by clicking the highlighted button. This allows you to avoid some configuration steps required when a camera dies. The replacement device maintains the original camera's recorded and archived video, rules, alarms, events, bookmarks, and maps. However, you will need to manually configure the original camera's self-learning analytics and digital outputs on the replacement camera. Note that when performing maintenance on the camera, you should disconnect the original device and install a temporary device instead of setting a replacement device in ACC software. Once you physically uninstall the original device and install the replacement device, select the device in the list of discovered cameras and click the highlighted button. Select a replacement camera from the highlighted list. Click the highlighted button to select the camera. Confirm your selection by clicking the highlighted button in the dialog box that appears. The replacement device will sync with the original device's recorded video and settings. To sum up, in this lesson, you learn that cameras can be connected through the Connection Camera tab. First, select a camera from the Discovered Cameras list and connect it by determining the server, connection type, license priority, and camera control, if applicable. Then, select the location for the camera and order it in the directory.